I'm here today with my husband Tim and we're going to be talking about tips of running a business. Now, Tim has had a couple of successful businesses and he has got some great experience and some things that he can share with anybody out there who is needing some advice on dealing with their business and how to improve it and how to get things really moving forward and moving it into a positive and sort of more financial direction. So Tim, what would be some of the tips that you could give anybody out there who's feeling their business, especially in these times with the what's been happening with the shutdowns and things going on around the place? It's certainly affected small businesses. So what tips would you give anybody that might help them to get their business to grow and financially improve? Oh, look, firstly, oh, thanks, Chrissy. Um, so firstly is, is identify <clears throat> some of the points in your business that, um, especially in this time with this COVID-19, um, addressing spending that you don't necessarily have to make. So sometimes looking at the expenses of the business. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you're losing sales or losing clientele, Sometimes just to survive, you need to cut back on some of the expenses and some of the costings that, that, that you may not necessarily need to make. Uh, What's an example of something well, like that? Well, I, I, I guess, uh, you know, the simplest things, you know, from how you use your power to how you um, handle your staff, um, you know, negotiate with your staff that if things are quiet, you know, maybe they can take oh, some holidays. Yeah. Reduce you know, hours. Reduce or... some hours. Uh, you know, overall, if, if you're honest with your staff and honest with how the situation is, um, what you'll find is the staff will be more than supportive. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, look at what the government is offering, you know. If the government's True. offering you some support, by all means, take it. Don't be For proud. Sure. Don't, don't be proud, you know. All mm -hmm. these years you've paid all your taxes and, and you've worked hard and the government have quite easily put their hand out to take all your, your money that, that's required tax-wise. So if you've got the opportunity to, to take advantage of it, take advantage of it. Uh, the other thing that I would, I would say is um, stay in touch with your clientele and, and just say that you're still functioning. You, you may find that some people aren't aware. They might have thought, oh, well, you're, you're closed in this, in this period or, or things aren't working out too well. Um, so, you know, just stay in touch and, and, and just let them know that you're still functioning and you're still about. You'd be surprised where just out of the blue they may need you, or require your services and, mm. um, you know, that can be just the the, the springboard to, to get you moving forward again. True. Um, but also in relation just in general, Tim, to the business, what are the skills that you've had to really discover because you've had businesses for over 20 years what are the skills that you think have really been powerful in, in making those businesses a success? Just to give anyone those tips as well. Oh, to, so, so when you're starting off a business, um, you need to, I guess, identify, um, you know, is your business going to provide the service and um, products that people will be willing to purchase? So it's like finding that correct niche market. Exactly, that's yeah something that's really needed in the community yeah definitely and um look sometimes you can buy an existing business which is is not going too well but you know you can add some more energy to it and and, True. and, and get things going by you know advertising getting out and meeting people um but if you're starting off a business you know my first instinct was to to let everybody know what you're doing so you know mm. it could be just a, a as simple as a pamphlet drop the, our business that we started off mm. we hopped in the vehicle we got a thousand pamphlets made up describing our business what we wanted to do mm -hmm. and how our business worked and we drove all around the whole region and area and dropped them on every post box we didn't rely on anyone else to to drop them off for us we put them in every post box Mm. Um, so it's keeping that message and spreading the word and really getting your name out there as well and keeping in people's faces well, is what you're saying. Exactly. And mm. and, and look, um, things are always quite tight financially when you're starting in a business. In the beginning, yes. Um, so, you know, you need to prepare yourself to possibly not pay yourself too much money mm. and reinvest Which back into the business. Which is very hard to do. Yeah, that could be with stock. It mm. could be... You know, making sure that you, you you might have to use a second-hand vehicle and, and, and just build yourself up and get out there and get known. Um, mm. 
more and that's building trust in people too i think that they can rely on you that you're going to be there too well i think what well one of my old bosses said to me one time he said consistency builds trust Mm. so if you're consistent in what you say and what you do Mm. um even though people may not purchase or may not use your service or or whatever you're you're selling or or doing um but if you can stay consistent and true to what you're trying to achieve Mm -hmm. um you will find that that will build trust in people and they Mm. go well this guy's always been about and you know things can change and it doesn't take long for things to change um so then the other step is being prepared that when things do change and you do start to get a lot more business and people mm. are starting to rely on your services, that you've got a plan or a formula to expand as the business expands. Mm. Now that could be in staff or that could be in purchasing mm. more stock or just being aware that you can't stay fixed and you can't stay True. small. It, as things start to develop, you've got to have that mindset that your expand, business is starting yeah. to expand. And that's setting goals too, isn't it? Knowing where you're heading and what direction you want to take the business as well. Well, go- goals are important, yeah. They are. Something you've always said to me too, um, with the business, it's not about selling the product. What is that that you always say? It's about finding out what the person is needing or wanting. Is that the way that you've it's, always put it's, it? It's developing a relationship with your customers. You, mm. you, your customers aren't just people that you sell something to. Mm. They're people that you want to build a rapport and you want to build a relationship with. True. So when they think of anything that revolves around your business, they're just Mm. automatically going to think of you, Mm. not what you're selling, but Mm. they they know. So, you know, my business is selling batteries and Mm. we sell some solar systems and we sell... Mm. So the first thing we do is we, we listen to what the customer requires. Mm. And that's a rapport that you need to develop. You need to listen to what their wants are. Yeah. Don't just have something fixed in your mind mm. that you think what you're going to sell them. Mm. You need to get to understand exactly what they need. And then once you get to understand what they need, it's quite easy to make suggestions because mm. you're qualified in what you're saying. That would be, you know, and, and, and it's a skill that you need to develop and I would suggest that you develop it really early and maybe, you know, read some books on, on relationship selling, there's there's all sorts of books out there mm. that gives you the understanding on, on getting to know your customer and making sure that the customer is always comfortable coming into your I shop. I think that's really important what you're saying there. That's a really good point about making them comfortable and using the right body language and studying up a few of those tips as well because that does help you a lot, doesn't it? Now you could, in sales? Yeah. Well, you could find yourself in a position where you've got a lot of people in your shop at the mm. one time. It takes two to five seconds to just to acknowledge somebody. So true. Just say, you know, look at someone in the eye and just say, mm-hmm. hey, how you going? Or just give them a wave. Mm-hmm. Let them know that you've acknowledged that they've arrived, um, even though you're serving someone else. And that will help them to relax. It because, does. Because people know that you've acknowledged them mm-hmm. and they know that you're working through whatever you're working through to get to them. Exactly. And people want to feel important. You know, that's a major Definitely. piece of advice there that Tim's just given you as well um i think that's just great advice tim on 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 how to take your business and move it forward there's so much to a business because you don't want to come across with that desperate energy as well that oh i need to make money i need to make this sale because people pick up on that and that can actually push people away and like you said it's about you want people to come to your business that's why i go to a shop you know well it's a building block so mm. it, it's building the relationships with the customers that you've got yeah and if you can build a good relationship with the customers that you have got mm-hmm. they will be the best advertisement for you exactly um, word you know, of mouth becomes... word of mouth becomes so important especially yeah. in country areas or, for sure. or if you're in smaller areas mm. um if people say yeah he's a trustworthy person you know most people will rely on that advice um but as I say, just always listen to the customer, um, get a good understanding of what their what their needs are, mm-hmm. and, and, and the rest will fall into place. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. That's very true. Well, thanks, Tim. That's some great advice today. Not we might much. shoot some other videos as well on how to deal with difficult people in your business and different sort of scenarios as well. If there's anything you want to particularly talk about, just write that down in the comments below. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.